All right, so Hillary Clinton is still refusing to accept the real reason she lost to President elect Donald Trump. Now, instead of just acknowledging that she was a terribly flawed, corrupt candidate with a very long track record of failure and a large majority of American voters didn't like, Paul was dishonest. Hillary Clinton is now blaming everything but herself for her election loss. Last night at a swanky party in New York City, all her and her liberal elitist donor friends, they went out there and she's blaming the FBI, Vladimir Putin, Russian hacking for her historic defeat. Listen to this. Swing state voters made their decisions in the final days, breaking against me because of the FBI letter from yeah. Yeah. Comey. And Nate Silver believes, I happen to believe this, that uh, that letter uh, most likely made the difference uh, in the outcome. Vladimir Putin himself directed the covert cyber attacks against our electoral system, against our democracy, Apparently because he has a personal beef against me. This is uh, not just an attack against me and my campaign, although that may have added fuel to it. This is an attack against our country. We are well beyond normal political concerns here. This is about the integrity of our democracy and the security of our nation. A personal beef? Okay, Hillary, let's see if I got this straight. It's the FBI's fault that you set up an insecure private email server in a mom and pop shop bathroom closet. It's their fault that had top secret special access program and classified information on that computer server that put America's national security at risk. It's their fault. Hillary, that's not the FBI's fault. That is your fault. And if we're being totally honest here, well, you're kind of lucky that President Obama's Department of Justice has protected you because you did break the law, and many, including myself, think you should be prosecuted. And as for Russian hacking, well, it's not a fact that Russia acted with the purpose of helping Donald Trump win. So you need to stop saying that because you're lying to the American people, yet again, something you do often. Now, Fox News has learned that an internal CIA memo confirms that the intelligence community is now in agreement that Russia sought to interfere in the election, but the memo does not include a reference that there was an intention to aid Donald Trump. Now, the CIA has been taking the lead on this. Well, that's the same agency that lied to the American people, all of you watching, by changing the Benghazi talking points to say, Terrorism was not to blame. Their argument, spontaneous demonstration related to a YouTube video, and the demonstrators just happened to have mortars and RPGs in their back pocket. Really? Now, President Obama reacted to Clinton's claim at his year-end press conference earlier today. Listen to this. When I saw President Putin in China, I felt that the most effective way to ensure that that didn't happen was to talk to him directly and tell him to cut it out and there were going to be some serious consequences if he didn't. 37 percent of Republican voters <coughs> approve of Putin. For too long, everything that happens in this town, everything that's said is seen through the lens of does this help or hurt us relative to Democrats or relative to President Obama. Unless that changes, we're going to continue to be vulnerable to foreign influence because we've lost track of what it is that we're about and what we stand for. Obama is so tough. He told Putin and China to cut it out. Now, if the president's so concerned about interference in elections from foreign governments, then why did a congressional investigation find that back in 2014, an Israeli political group used 300,000 taxpayer dollars from the Obama State Department in a grant to create a political apparatus to try and defeat the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu? In other words, Mr. President, were you trying to interfere in Israel's elections? Now, Clinton, Obama, and the left, they've also been pushing the idea that WikiLeaks worked hand-in-hand -hand with Russia to release John Podesta's emails, but the facts, sadly, for them, it says otherwise. Yesterday, I had the founder of WikiLeaks, Julian Assange, on my radio show, and he said Russia did not give him the Podesta emails. Do they have any proof? So far, they haven't presented it, but listen to Assange. 
our source is not the Russian government. So in other words, let me be clear. Russia did not give you the Podesta documents or anything from the DNC. That's correct. Can you confirm whether or not you have information involving hacked info from the RNC? Uh, we received uh, about three pages of information to do with the RNC and uh, Trump, uh, but it was already public somewhere else. Whether you like Julian Assange and WikiLeaks or not, for 10 years, they have never been proven to, got, to have gotten anything wrong. Not one time. And then there's President Obama on The Daily Show saying there was no vote tampering done by the Russians in this election. He told us himself. Take a look. We were, frankly, more concerned in the run-up to the election uh, to the possibilities of vote tampering, which... Uh, we did not see evidence of, and we're confident that we could guard against. All right, so what we're seeing here is the sore loser left acting like spoiled little brats. They didn't get what they wanted for Christmas, so now they're going to ruin the holiday for everyone else. But here's one thing they're not talking about, and that is what WikiLeaks actually exposed about the Clintons and the DNC. It's all true. It's not like anything that you heard was a lie. Now, WikiLeaks proved what many of us had suspected for a long time. The Clintons are corrupt. The mainstream, alt-left media is corrupt as well, and they were colluding with the Clinton campaign. We learned the DNC worked against Bernie Sanders in a corrupt way. And we learned that some of the DNC emails contain racist, sexist, misogynistic, homophobic, uh, and anti-Semitic language. Now, in my opinion, the country was better off because the truth was told to you, the American people. Now, all of a sudden, this administration cares about is hacking. Well, my question to President Obama, where have you been for eight years? Now, look at this list. These government agencies have been hacked dating back to 2012. And the Obama administration, they didn't lift a finger to try and fix the problem. Now, I've said it many times in this program. Yes, Julian Assange is controversial. But did he not do us a favor? Did he not do us a favor by exposing one of our glaring weaknesses? And shouldn't we have been fixing it the last eight years? So if the left is so upset about publishing stolen material, okay, if you're really consistent intellectually, where was the outrage when the New York Times published Donald Trump's stolen tax returns? They all reported it. Now, if WikiLeaks had all this information and it was about Donald Trump, uh, I think the left would have loved it being exposed. So give me a break. It would have been wall-to-wall -wall coverage every day, every minute, every night. Now, what this really comes down to is this. The left, the media, they're mad. They're angry. They're in denial. They don't want to admit, admit they failed and that they got exposed. And in the end, they lost. And they can't admit that they failed. And by the way, what happened to the left's attitude before the election Remember when they were telling Donald Trump to stop raising concerns about the system being rigged? Remember when Obama, just a couple of weeks before the election, said this? There is no serious person out there who would suggest somehow that you could even, you could even rig America's elections, in part because they're so decentralized and the numbers of votes involved. There's no evidence that that has happened in the past or that there are instances in which that will happen this time. And so uh, I'd advise Mr. Trump to stop whining and go try to make his case to get votes. Yeah, President Obama and Hillary, they need to stop whining. As Hillary Clinton, she did the same thing. Remember this before the election. That's horrifying. You know, every time Donald thinks things are not going in his direction. He claims whatever it is is rigged against him. Now, make no mistake, by doing that, he is threatening our democracy. Hillary, stop whining and complaining. Listen to your own words, your own criticism, because what you said and what the left is doing is you're advancing a false conspiracy theory as to why you lost. You can't accept responsibility. It's also time for Hillary to stop making it all about her. Now, for decades, she's been playing that same victim card, the same conspiracies, blaming all her troubles, all her many scandals on someone or something else. Remember back in the 90s when Hillary tried to blame the so-called vast right-wing conspiracy, all about Bill Clinton's misconduct. Let's blame somebody else. Take a look. The great story here for anybody willing to find it and write about it and explain it 
is this vast right-wing conspiracy that has been conspiring against my husband since the day he announced for president. This is what the Clintons do, sadly. They deny, they lie, then they point the finger, they pass the blame, and this is about as big as conspiracy as Roswell, New Mexico, and Area 51.